see high plus two. We're in the wrong side. Yeah, we are. Mm. So we might be confused. People might think that I'm Amy. And our memory and it's still the current situation. situation. Number 35. 35. It is Monday, July 27th. July 27th. I'm finishing your sentences today. Aww. Aww. Okay. okay. Work in um, progress. It's hot. It's really, really, really hot. Do you know how hot it is? Oh, Lord. Here we go. How hot is it? It's so hot that I went to the store to buy a loaf of bread, uh-huh. and when I got home, it was toast. <laughs> <laughs> That's as bad as my one from last year when I said it's so hot outside that <laughs> there, I cooked eggs on the the pavement or something like that. It's something weird mm-hmm. in the street. I saw eggs cooking in. No, the chickens <laughs> were laying fried eggs. That's what it was. That's what it was. That's okay. My joke's coming later. All right. Anyway, <laughs> it's hot here like everywhere else. No, we're not special, I guess. Um, you are. Oh. <laughs> was that not meant to be sweet, was it? Because <laughs> um, on what kind of special are you talking about? <laughs> this is our channel about cross-stitch, <laughs> where we talk all things cross-stitch, I guess. And um, this, that, and the other. Thank you for everybody for coming back. Mm-hmm. Or if you're new, thank you for checking us out. Oh, memory broke my wrist. I did not. I did, look, y'all, this is cross-stitch. This is Amy had two days off work, and she stitched for two whole days. And then Saturday, she's like, my wrist hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Amateur. <laughs> anyway. Whatever. <laughs> All right, what are we doing first? Um, what did we do this weekend? Um, we went to Wilmington. We did. We went to this place, really, really cute place. It's called Southport. Um, North Carolina. North Carolina. Mm-hmm. It's like a, um, it's like a little fishing village. Yeah, it really of. was. It was a really, really cool town. And we happened to be driving down into Southport. Into Southport. And I was like, memory, there's a cross-stitch store. Yeah, so um, never heard of it. It's not on never. any of the Facebook groups. I asked her if she knew about um, cross-stitching road trip or anything like that. And she said no. But this mm-hmm. is Angel Wing Needle Arts. She said she's been in business for 21 years. Not really sure how. There's like um, nothing in this town. Yeah, it's a little, I mean, little fishing town. Very cute. Um, you know what? My guess is people from Wilmington come probably. in. Probably. It was not strictly cross-stitch. Um, she yeah. had a lot of quilting. Um, it was in a little house, and there was a quilting room. There was a knitting room, mm-hmm. um, a needlepoint room, and then she had one room that was cross-stitch. cross-stitch. Um she had a really good selection of floss, which was really good, good because there were two that I've been trying to order, been a back order forever. Um, but she only had maybe, I mean, just a handful of charts. Yeah, so most like, of them were um, beach related or local. Mm-hmm. Local um, charts, she had a lot of local charts. Yeah, like the local lighthouses, lighthouses. and stuff. Um, but we did make a purchase from her other than floss, so I'll show you that um, when we talk about mm-hmm. what we bought. Um, but surprise just out of nowhere so we were meant to be um we did have to top off the jeep it did start torrentially raining out of nowhere we got soaked just a little bit had to pull over on saturday that was good times good times right there yeah um, i don't think i've ever seen memory laugh so hard in her life <laughs> i thought she was gonna funny. pee herself <laughs> it was pretty <laughs> funny um yesterday we went play putt putt we took the kiddos and because mm-hmm. there's like probably 200 putt-putts in this town. No, there's only 199. Oh, no. Close enough. Um, I did not win. I did not win either. Even though I told them to let me win, they did not. I lost bad. I came in in fourth. (laughs) Out of how many? Four. Four. (laughs) Also known as last. Last. I was a big old loser. (laughs) Yep, that was me. (laughs) Um, but there's this, hang on a second, hang on a second. What? There's this one hole. And we had to do this hole twice. And I kept having problems with it. And it was the biggest hole you could actually put the ball in. And I still could not get the ball down the damn hole. No, it was bad. It took me three times. It was bad. But Otherwise, I would have won. Um, it's really hot, so we've been taken to walking on the beach in the morning. Mm-hmm. Um, we saw so many animals yesterday. We saw baby flounder. We saw shark. We saw some shark. Like itty bitty shark like. Maybe well, sand well, maybe what about three, four, about three inches? Yeah, we're like two miles from the pier, so we go park there and walk while we look for sharks teeth and fish Saw some alligators. Saw an alligator yesterday. There's another um, where we live is very walkable, and we were 
walking a back path where there's a creek and a pond. It's a pond, maybe? maybe? Something um, or other, like a creek that goes into a pond. Oh, very cool. Baby alligator, I think. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, we stay home most of the day when we're not working and we stitch. So lots of stitching to show you. Do you have any start? I don't know why. Like, I was in I this finishing like kick, it. and now all of a sudden she wants to start stuff. And now I want to start stuff, so I don't know. Um, I've had the Scarlet House. Where's the camera? Perfect You're world. I'm on the other side, it's wrong. Um, give me this, I will hold it. Okay, so here's my, my thinking as I've been starting this, right? So, what got me on this piece was this bottom border. I think that's beautiful. Um, I've never stitched a house, I don't think. I don't know. Yes, you have. Remember the red house that you said that looked like our old house? Oh, yeah. That house. didn't really look like our house? It did in my head. Mm -hmm. um, the verse does not mean anything to me. Like, that's just not me. In the perfect world, you will find me here with the birds and the flowers and the dogs and the deer. I love birds. The rest of it, one dog, but it could say cat. Yeah. Um, so I'm always thinking that I might not stitch the words. Well, or will you chart me something different? See, that was in there. Anyway, um, I'm stitching it over to you on 28 count. This is diversity from Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. It Fabrics. This was her fabric of the month. Um, it's pretty. It's but big. It is big. It's going to be pretty big size. Um, that's because you're doing it over two. Yeah, but it's really, I mean, that bottom border is just what gets me, that black with those flowers. I just Are you going to stitch the deer? I don't, see, that's what I'm saying, I don't know. <laughs> because the more I kept reading it, I'm like, the sentiment just isn't me. And there's no, I mean, you can't make that, like, I don't have to change that to be anything relevant to me. I'm not, like, a wildlife person. I just, I loved the motif, the picture. Um, well, just stitch the border. Oh, never mind, you already started. I already started the border. No, I was just saying. But, I mean, I like the houses, so I was almost thinking, like, I just would stop. Like, oh, oh sorry. I thought I'd grab everything. Like, I would just stop, like, there. And not and do not that do... tree that's right here that's up in the air. Right. That makes, that will be cute. And just not do that, or even, like, bring it down a little bit. Or you could always or I could move put another like, bird or something right there. Yeah, you could always put a bird. You can put like that red bird right yeah, there. Yeah, so basically at the top of the white house, it just wouldn't stitch anything else. Mm -hmm. All of that. Yeah, I mean, if it's not relevant. So I think what I'm just, just kind of go up, and when I get to that point, then decide what you want to do. Just decide what I think about it. Because the part I love would be stitched. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Anybody else ever done that? I mean, do, I mean, the new there are no rules in cross stitch, so. I mean, she has not the new companion piece that came out this time, this year that's Seeking Refuge. And it's a little bit more, like, stitching related, like anxiety, needle and thread and stuff. Um, but I don't know. I'm going to go up and see what happens, so to be continued. This is the first I've heard of this, by the way. Yeah, well, you were working last week, and, the, like, I would have an hour between when Amy would leave and when I would need to start working. So this was like my morning project. I'd only work on it for like an hour in the morning. And then I'd put it away for the day. Oh. Um, I haven't worked on it since last week, though. Um, my turn. Your turn. What you got? These are the ones. Once again, still working on these crazy scissors. They're so pretty. I love By them. Barbara Anna. I did make a little bit of progress. But I haven't really been working on them that much because I've been working on my hate. I went to my hate up. So yeah, there you go. That's progress. That's gonna be a snowman if you can't tell. <laughs> what did you wait? What did you stitch? Just the. <laughs> it's the hat. It's the eyeballs. His scarf and his nose. Is that his nose? I think so. I don't know why it's red. Well, I see why is it red. I don't know. That's what okay. she charted it at. So right. I kept it at. But yeah, I will eventually get it done. I swear, y'all. I really, really swear. I know you were on like I'm gonna finish this, and then you went on here. Yeah, I then, don't know what happened. We were all like finish everything, and then we. And did. then I switched to my head because I wanted to get to the fits. <laughs> You're so funny. Is it gonna fit? 
I don't know. I'm on the wrong side. I feel all off. Look at that, hey. It's so pretty. How long have you been stitching my face? Two days? Yeah, it hasn't been long. No, two days, I think. Because you finished one, the page. I think I started one day last week, yeah? Yeah, because you had his lips on that. <laughs> it all was like two lips. Yeah, and so when I saw his little lips right here, I, I decided to just do the fish. And then I'll fill in all the blue. Yeah, because you can do that when you have pattern keeper. Yeah. See? Oh, it's so pretty. Do you know why the fish blushed? blushed? Why did the fish blush? He saw the ocean's bottom. <laughs> Is that what you were chuckling about early? That's pretty funny. <laughs> Such a kid. <laughs> Good, just chuckling away. Oh, but yeah. So those are my two hates. Um, that hate is uh, "Many Treasures by the Sea," which we got a reprint of because apparently, um, apparently they um, it was part of the whole floss chart mm, fiasco. Debacle. The debacle. But I'm not changing it. I'm already too far into it. I'm not changing well, it. Well, you so. had, you said it was only like 150 stitches. Yeah, there's only like 115 stitches of number eight, I think it was, that, um, for the reason why she sent it, so I'm not even going to change it. I'm more worried about Anne. I think Anne might have eight or nine in it. Yeah, we need to look. Cause we but even so, I mean, we're so far in. Yeah, that's just like, <laughs> Hold, please. Memory is running through the apartment, getting the dog. Sorry, y'all. Sorry, he has to say hey to everything that walks by. So, um, I don't think it would be really worth it to... Yeah, I don't know, unless you just haven't gotten to it yet. Yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. I haven't really looked to see if it's in there, but I'm pretty sure it's probably in there. Okay. Um, what about so, you? So, I went back and forth, um... I had two things I was working on that I finished, so I'll show them in a minute. Um, she partially finished one. <laughs> we'll talk about that. Now. Um, so here's my lighthouse. lighthouse. Um, and I've been working on this one because it's really kind of like a focus piece for me because I just have dreams of it being on the wall. Um, but honestly, all this last page was so confetti heavy that I got so burnt out um, that I had to switch for a little bit. But this is where I got to when I finished the page. It was so pretty, though. Yeah, so the trees and then the start of the house. Um, but yeah, it's coming along. But I'm doing it one over one on 18 count. And this was the page that i worked on last and it was just so much confetti in there to get those trees i'm pretty sure you said you wanted to go to that page though if i'm if i if, did because if if, if, if if i recall you said you said because you wanted to stitch the house i did because over here was nothing but more blue and i was like i need to see something different but then i got uh it was it was tedious though but it's there and it looks beautiful so what I decided to do was um, put it away and pull out one of my old hades and do a page on it and then come back to this one. So I'll kind of alternate mm -hmm. um, with each page finish. And I think that will help me. Because when I come back to that, like everything else now is probably just going to be confetti because mm -hmm. until I get over here. Yeah. Um, and I don't know which way I'm going. I go across and then I go down and... Now I think I'll go back across, start the lighthouse. I don't know. It is what it is. We'll see what we're feeling. Um, so then I decided to switch back to this one. This is Indy Nelson, the Madonna and Sorrow, because um, Owl. This is such a pretty piece. Um, this was funny. Did you say you her? This is Olivia and Oliver. Olivia. Yeah, Olivia. I named her that. Um, it was so funny. Amy walks by and she's like, that's all the colors. Um, there's oh, only yeah, yeah. 16. Where is the box? <laughs> it's over there. <laughs> Hang on a second. I must show you something. Um, well, I'll show them where I'm at while you're showing them the box. This is where I got to. I'm almost done with the page. Um, so there's the owl. And this is starting on her hair. 
Oh, it's kind of funny though because I I'm not I've been like doing a few colors and then I switch, but just her hair kind of lends itself to stitching in that direction. So that's where I'm at. I have two more colors left to finish that, um, and then I'll go back to the lighthouse. So I walked by Memory's uh, little fabric box here. You know, I scoop myself back up, again. and so I see all the colors, which is not a lot, right? There's probably what about twelve. Oh, I forgot you said that. And then I pulled this out. This is her white. It's not even, there's nothing. I don't know if you can really see what's going on here. What do I need to, is this a ball? It's a ball. <laughs> it works for me. I am not sharing this box with you, so it works for this me. This is awful. <laughs> Look, y'all, this little, let's just appreciate the rest of my box. <laughs> Look, I got shit everywhere in here. <laughs> It, it's, I don't know what it is. So there's the piece. Here. And here's the white. <laughs> well, I have a bobbin of it. Well, that's 5200. Then why do you know. have it like that? Oh, see, look, I have a bobbin of it. Then why do you have it like that? I don't know. That's extra. <laughs> I about died. <laughs> I saw her box. Look, I ain't sharing it with you. Thank God. I have a flipping heart attack. Anyway, I'll probably finish that page. It'll probably won't take me another two days, maybe. Yeah, you, you're you stitching that pretty quick because yeah, of the it's, lack it, of color. Yeah, it's just, I mean, there's, I just finished the black. There's a, two more colors that go in. And, and this part right here is majority one color. So, um, and then that'll be onto her head. Um, I love this piece. It's so pretty. Jamie yeah, finishes. No, so memory will continue so to chat. So I will continue on. to talk while you rub the doggy. Well, kind of. There's a dog finish. out there. Um, so I don't know if I kept the thing. Um, I just thought I was finished with this one. <laughs> Can't really see. It. Can't really see it. Um, this is Erica Michaels. Nothing soothes the soul like a walk on the beach. This is the one that um, and I'm still not sure that I love it. Um, I'm not sure that I love it because I think that the gloss choices are too dark here to Her, see that. Do you see some missing pieces but down here? Yeah, I just real. I y'all, I pulled this out because I, I got the floss at the Angel Wings. They had uh -huh. it. Um, it was caramel corn and dirt road, which I've been on back order forever. But she had some. Um, so last night I worked really hard because I was going to finish filling all these in, which I did. And then I ironed it, and I set it over here, and I looked at it, and I measured it because I was going to get a frame. And then as I'm getting ready to show you, I'm like, shit. Oh, I'm not going to say that. I'm like, dang. <laughs> yeah, you did really say that. You actually said something worse. I forgot to do those. So after the video, I guess I'll pull out the dirt road that I've already put away and finish that because now I've noticed it. But anyway, this was Erica Michaels. I like it. I don't know why you don't like it. I just, at this part right here, I just think that it was too dark for the words. But I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I mean, the words still show up. So. Yeah, it still shows. It's just, I don't know. Uh, somebody said that it, it was like, there was like a reprint of the pattern, but the pattern I had did have a, a um, insert in it that these colors were flopped or something. Um, I don't know. It's okay. Is it my favorite piece? No. Will we frame it and hang it on the wall in the house? Probably because it's a little beach house. Um, but anyway, I'll be finishing that tonight, I guess. Um, I don't know how to big finish. A big, big finish. I feel like I need like a round of applause or something. Um, I did finish Halloween Quaker. It looks so good. This is on... 32 count Bewitched by Hand Dye Fabrics from Stephanie. I did it in all the called floors except the white. I switched to glow in the dark fabric, which has been very disappointing because glow I can't. Glow in the dark floss. Yeah, floss because I can't see it glow in the dark ever. Um, this was so much fun. I loved stitching this. It really didn't take you that long. Would it you? really didn't. Once I sat down and, and you, you know. You just put it down a lot. <laughs> yeah, pulled it back out. I mean, you know, they're, they're. They're intricate. And I did run out of one of the flosses I had to mm -hmm. reorder. Um, Blackbird cost, it's like four skeins. This is all classic color works. 
Um, so I did have to pause to order that. Um, I mean, but they're intricate. So it's like, this is my favorite part, the little house down there. Um, and I searched a long time for this fabric because it's the call for is murky, but murky's a little more brown and green to me, and I really wanted this purple. Um, so when I found this piece, it was perfect. So I love it. We're gonna get a frame, just hang it up for Halloween. It's very exciting. It's very cute. I love it. I did pass the sash. Miss Ariel will be stitching it next because it was passed to me, so I wanted to continue to pass it on to someone else who might like it. Oh, you know what else I did? Um, I couldn't decide how to personalize because the chart comes with lots of personalization, like you can put initials and stuff in. So I did do the B right there for Baker, but over here I just put my initials and then I did 2020 because that's the year I finished it. So I didn't put anything else because I was like, I don't want to leave anybody out or anybody's feelings or not. I don't know. So I just put my initials because I did all the hard work. Yeah, and you should have. Okay, your turn. Will you take it? I will take it. What have you been designing? I haven't been designing anything. Uh huh. Because I stitched something that you designed. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, needle minder loose. Oh uh oh, that's bad. I see the needle. Like you need to stand up because you look like Wilson. Okay, so memory saw this little like uh, ornament type thing. And so I kind of revamped it. It was like on a piece of driftwood or something, I guess. Mm, I think so. so I made it into a surfboard because at the beach. There's only certain things you can do at the beach, right? Anyways, it's, you can't probably see it very well. It's called the flip flops for a hung. Um, and it's like little uh, Christmas flip flops hanging from a surfboard. It's the cutest little thing it's cute. ever. So yeah, so that will be coming out um, probably August when I release all this other stuff that is um, sitting over here to my side. Where is, where is what? Are you going to talk about the, the magazine? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, well, we can talk about it because it's yours, so it's just in the hall. Well, you can do it because you got, where's the piece at it, though? Oh, you want to show the piece? Yeah. Yeah, okay, well, you talk about that, I will get the piece. Okay. So before we left Charlotte, we um, got these um, these beads from I think it's probably Joanne's maybe. Um, anyway, so I started making my uh, scissor trunks again. So this one is just like a little fishy. If it will spin around right, there you go. And I decided to just start putting scissors at the bottom of our charms um, because they're scissor charms. Common sense, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, and so then this one and this one. Then there's these two also that are going to be released in August. And then there's this one. Maybe released in August. You got bored. What? Yeah. Behind it. And a little scissor. And then I only made one of these because I want to see how it does. But um, it's like a little flip flop. I didn't put anything on the bottom of it because it's already so long, so I didn't want really to put anything else on it. And then, I'm sorry for the noise. I made a couple of these. I'm not going to show them all, but um, they're kitty cats. Also, with the scissor on the bottom. And this purple one. This is on the bottom. So yeah, all this stuff will be released um, in August. I just gotta get it up on the website. So, so that's the design madness going on over here. Design madness. So memory had ordered. Um, as you guys know, we had a, a design um, the cross stitch magazine. <coughs> so. Um, Memory ordered it twice. Well, let me tell you. First, first off, we could never find it First here. off, last year, where we used to live, I bought it at Walmart. 
Um, we had a huge Barnes & Noble. The Barnes & Noble had it. This year, COVID stored. I don't know if it's where we are or mm -hmm. the virus. Um, we have a Books A Million. They did not have it. We have Barnes & Noble. They did not have it. We checked every place here that would have we it. We checked the Michaels. Yeah, we don't have a Joanne here. Um, Hobby Lobby doesn't sell magazines. I don't well, think. plus it's like an plus hour. Plus it's an hour away. Um, so anyway, so went online to just order it. Um, and the first place that came up was Fat Quarter Shop. I ordered it two weeks ago. I still do not have it. Um, so I'm impatient. Um, I ordered it from Susan at Fire Poppies. The day I ordered it, it shipped that night, and I had it the next day. Very well. Thank you, Susan, all over and company. Um, so this is Amy's design on in the magazine. Mm -hmm. And then I want to show you my version because I, I always stitch her stuff before we do anything with it. Um, well, and this was done on a 20... What did they do it on? 28. They did on 28 count China Pearl Jobelin from Witchell. So it's going to be very tiny um, and over one, I would assume, because it doesn't say. Probably. Well, I one did scan. my... No, it doesn't say what the video is. I'm assuming it's probably a little more. Well, this one is two. It looks like two. This one's two over two. So we did not make it into an ornament. But it is 28 count. I have totally blanked on the lady who makes this fabric. She's on Facebook. She has an Etsy store. This fabric is gorgeous. Um, but someone did comment when I, I did a post, I think, on Instagram, and they did comment on the difference that fabric can make. Um, mm -hmm. That's pretty true right there. It's got a pinky orange color. And then the yellow in the center mm -hmm. and then the orange the at the place. bottom. Yeah. Um, oh gosh, I want to give her credit. I'll get back to you. I'll have to look at it in my phone um, and tell you guys. But um, So that's what the finished piece looks like and then they made it into a little hanger. It's really cute. Yeah, because their finished piece is like four by three. Which is interesting. They had to do it one over one because... On 28. Yeah, because this is 28. And you did it over two? Yeah, and I did it over two, and it, that's definitely not... Yeah, so it would be half the size. Yeah, so half the size. But it's pretty, but my... But we didn't want to stitch it or finish it, so... Um, we let them decide what they wanted to do with it. We just get the design. Yeah, so if, you, if you're not familiar with how that works, they ask you if you want to stitch it and finish it or if you want them to stitch it and finish it. Or um, if you just want to stitch it or, yeah, so you know, you whatever have options. options. Yeah. Um, but my thought was just to frame this beside the publication mm -hmm. in the magazine for Amy to have as her first, like, published looking magazine. So there's that. It's going to bother me what the fabric is. I don't remember what it was either. <sighs> It's gonna bother me. I'll have to look it up and tell y'all. Um, the rest of the haul. The rest of it is, I mean, I got the, the two skeins of floss for the finishing of the beach walk mm -hmm. that were just, you know, not really exciting. It's just two skeins of floss. Other than that, this is the only thing we bought, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't buy anything. Yeah. So at the Angel Wing Needle Art Store in Southport, um, Memory's been looking for a bird to stitch, I'm a seabird. A shorebird, yeah. If anybody has any um, connections at Bothy Threads, I really want one of the Bothy Thread animals uh, to be a seagull. Can y'all pass that on? You know, the cute animals on the cute fabric. I keep waiting on the seagull. But anyway, I've been looking for a bird. Um, and then I saw this. So I named him, well, Amy named him Arthur. He is a great blue heron. They did have a model of this in the store. It was stunning. And it's stunning. Absolutely stunning. However, when I open this chart, I almost want to, like, scream. This will be arts and crafts because, <laughs> am I exaggerating? No. This chart is horrible. No. It's awful. It's horrible. I've never seen one like this. There's one page where the chart, the lines don't match. Like, it's like a printing error, and they just didn't fix it. Um... And I just noticed today this will aggravate the living daylight out of me. I'm going to cover this up because this is part. Um, they're not in order, the floss list. Are you serious? Yeah, look. Oh, my God. So, uh, <laughs> then it's on page, um, let's see, so one, two, so one page, that's like two different 
the sections that are going to have to be cut and pasted. There are no overlaps. There's no None. gray overlap area. Um, you have to get to page seven before you get the stitch count. So I was like, I need to know if you know we're going to have fabric finally on page seven. Um, some parts <laughs> I've never ever ever seen this. Um, there are some parts, I'm just going to flash to see where it's blank right there. See, there's nothing, okay? I know I'm breaking the law here. Um, but then there's a note at the bottom that says, fill in all the blank spaces with this number. What? Who does that? That, to me, like we were saying, is just lazy. Put, put the, the I mean, symbol like, I, I, this is the fr I, I don't know. This is the first cross ring collection I've ever done. I've never bought one. I've never seen one. He is a stunning piece. Mm -hmm. He and is. Good looking he really done. is. But I never, like, I mean, I was looking and I'm like, what? Who does that? And then there's all these small. It does know. it in a couple of spots throughout the. Yeah, it's a couple of spots, which can really look. See right there, all mm -hmm. blanks in back and wing 318. All blanks in neck. I'm like, that could be really confusing. It can be, because it's three, two different colors, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And then there's this, I'm like, I don't know, y'all. And look, there it is now, all blanks and flower away, all blanks and lily pad. So it's like there's just parts of the chart that aren't charted, and they just say do this. There's no symbol. There's no. Um, it's like a color by paint or stitch by, stitch by number. Right? I don't know. The only thing that I, do, I did really like was she, um, see this little dragonfly right here? He is stitched in, I think, some light effects or something. Um, I don't know, because on the model, he's very shiny, shimmery. Mm -hmm. um, but she does give you two options. So there's one option if you're stitching it on Ada, and there's another option if you're stitching it on even weave. So if it's over one or over two. Um, and the eye walks the same way. Um, um, so I got home, and we looked in our stash. I think that is going to be some good fabric for it. And this is the fabric that we chose, 18 count lock. And picture this plus, because he is stunning himself and just they did it on a blue linen i don't like linen so i think that'll be really good and that is how we got that fabric by the way i, I remember the so. color name now yeah we couldn't remember where we got this from um but the thing is there's just enough modeling so that it'll be like stormy yeah but there's not enough to take away from him, him. um so i'm not going to start this right now i really want to um at least a little down a little bit more. Um, she says that now. And wait, wait, next video she'll have it started. No, because maybe. Um, <laughs> see? See? Well, first thing I have to do is write these colors in order to see what I have <laughs> in there, um, what we might need to buy. Um, the other thing is we do have a trip to Charlotte planned for a day, um, for something for my job. Oh, we might need to go to uh, and yes, stitching frame. We might need to pop in as a stitching frame. Um, but also, if we have time to stop by the storage unit, my scroll rods are in there for oh, yeah. Snow Queen. Um, so I don't know what will happen next. Right now, I'm going to finish. She'll have it started by next video. Probably, maybe. I love him. I love him. I'm going to start at She'll the bottom. Have it started. I'm going to start at the bottom because I think that makes sense. It does make sense on that pattern. Yeah. <laughs> I'm that, not going to. It's going to be arts and crafts first. We're going to copy a working copy. and we're gonna Unless you can find the center. I, I don't even know, like, I don't even know if she marked this She did, I don't know, because there's, I don't know. I'm going to start at the bottom. First, we're going to arts and crafts it and glue it and make one big old gigantic pattern. You got a frog in your pocket? You keep saying we. Yeah, we, the collective. <laughs> anyway, whatever, next. <laughs> um, the only other thing, um, really, is that we um, have a few days left of our sale. Um, it should end at the end of this month on July 31st. So um, feel free to stop in the Etsy shop and try to windle some things down so we can put up this new stuff um, starting in August. And I think so, that's it. It's too hot to do anything and stay inside. Yeah. This weekend, like I said, we're probably going to go to Charlotte. Mm -hmm. Kylie has family in town. The following weekend, we won't have the kids. They'll probably go to Charlotte for the weekend. So that means stitchy time for us. I know. So that's that. The end. Well, thank you all for coming back. Yeah, for sure. Um, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. What else are you supposed to say? Thumb up. Thumbs up. <laughs> Do 
people still do that anymore? Other than know. emojis? I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, man. Maybe we can bring it back because you can't shake hands anymore. So now maybe when you meet somebody, <laughs> you just give them all. <laughs> dork. This is why I love you. We'll see if we can make it happen. <laughs> and we'll start doing that and see if anybody yeah, does it okay. with me. Alright, we'll see how that works out for you. Alright, well thank you for joining us again. We'll see y'all in probably another week or so. Two yep. weeks? Yep, two weeks. Two weeks. Maybe we can go, if we go to the stitching frame, we can buy stuff. You know how happy it is just to be in it? <laughs> Don't, I don't want to hear this Amy by the floss. <laughs> She's like touching it all like a virus, virus. <laughs> yeah, but it's the floss. <laughs> all right, y'all have a great week. All right, have a good one. Bye. Bye.